It's late at night and you're sitting alone, your mind racing with thoughts of the day, questions about your purpose, your future, maybe even your past decisions. It's a feeling we've all had, a moment where life seems like a complex puzzle and we're unsure where the next piece fits. I remember a time in my life when I felt utterly stuck. It was as if I was walking through a dense fog, unsure of which direction to take. The goals I had set seemed distant and the path to achieving them unclear. It's a daunting place to be where guidance seems scarce and the answers we seek feel just out of reach. This is where the timeless wisdom of Miyamoto Musashi comes into play. You might wonder, how can a 17th century samurai's teachings resonate in our modern fast-paced world? Miyamoto Musashi's philosophy goes beyond the conventional. It's a blend of Zen Buddhism, Shintoism, and a warrior's pragmatism. His views on life and combat were shaped by years of duels, wars, and a deep contemplation of nature and existence. Musashi believed in facing life head-on, accepting its harsh realities, and finding strength in adversity. These dark rules we're about to explore aren't about pessimism or negativity. Instead, they represent a raw, unfiltered understanding of life's complexities. Musashi's teachings confront us with truths we often avoid, pushing us to acknowledge and embrace the full spectrum of human experience, including its darker facets. Rule 1. Embrace Solitude Musashi spent years in solitude, honing his skills and reflecting on life. This isolation wasn't just physical, it was a mental state that allowed deep introspection and self-mastery. In today's hyper-connected world, embracing solitude means finding time for self-reflection. It's about disconnecting from external noise to connect with your inner voice. Imagine turning off your phone for a day, walking in nature, just you and your thoughts. It's in these moments of solitude that we often find our clearest insights. Solitude fosters creativity, self-awareness, and mental strength. It teaches us to be comfortable with our own company, an invaluable skill in personal development. Rule 2. Reject perfection. Embrace continual improvement. Musashi never considered himself a perfect warrior. Instead, he was a lifelong learner, always seeking to improve his art. In a world obsessed with perfection, this rule reminds us to focus on progress, not perfection. It's about embracing our flaws and learning from them. Think of a project at work. Instead of stressing over making it perfect, focus on doing a little better each time. This mindset reduces anxiety and opens the door to continuous growth. This approach builds resilience, adaptability, and a growth mindset. It teaches us to value the journey of learning, not just the destination of perfection. Rule 3. See through deception. As a strategist, Musashi excelled in seeing through his opponent's tactics and understanding the deeper reality of the battlefield. In an era of information overload, this rule is about discerning truth from falsehood. It's about looking beyond surface appearances to understand the underlying reality. Imagine negotiating a deal. By looking beyond the surface, you might uncover hidden motives or better opportunities. Developing this skill helps in making informed decisions, building genuine relationships, and navigating life with a clearer sense of reality. Rule 4. Balance is key. Musashi believed in balancing the way of the sword with other arts and knowledge, understanding that a well-rounded life is a powerful one. This rule speaks to the importance of balancing work, hobbies, relationships, and self-care. It's about not letting one aspect of life overshadow the others. Consider someone who works tirelessly but neglects their health or relationships. By finding balance, they can achieve greater overall fulfillment and effectiveness. Rule 5. Adaptability overcomes strength. Musashi won many battles not just through strength but through adaptability, changing tactics to suit different opponents and situations. In a fast-changing world, being adaptable is more valuable than being strong in a traditional sense. It's about being flexible in thoughts and actions. Imagine a business pivoting strategies in response to a new market trend, seizing opportunities that a rigid competitor misses. Adaptability fosters innovation, resilience, and the ability to navigate life's uncertainties. It prepares us to thrive in diverse situations and challenges. Rule 6. The present is all you control. Musashi emphasized the importance of being fully in the moment during combat 
as dwelling on the past or future could prove fatal. In our busy lives, this rule reminds us to focus on the present moment. It's about mindfulness, appreciating the now, and not getting lost in regrets or worries about what's yet to come. Consider a person anxious about an upcoming meeting. By focusing on the present task, they can alleviate stress and prepare more effectively. Living in the present enhances focus, reduces stress, and improves overall quality of life. It allows us to engage fully with our current tasks and enjoy life's simple pleasures. Rule 7. Cultivate Tactical Detachment Musashi believed in maintaining emotional detachment during battle, allowing for clear strategic thinking free from emotional clouding. This rule teaches the importance of emotional intelligence in our daily lives. It's about not letting emotions dictate our decisions, but rather using them to inform our actions. Imagine receiving critical feedback. By staying emotionally detached, you can assess it constructively without letting pride or hurt feelings get in the way. Cultivating detachment leads to better decision-making, stronger relationships, and a more balanced emotional life. It helps us respond to situations rather than react impulsively. Rule 8. Respect the harmony of nature. For Musashi, understanding and respecting the natural world was essential as it influenced his strategies and life philosophy. This rule encourages us to reconnect with nature and recognize our place within the natural world. It's about living sustainably and respecting the environment. Consider someone who takes time to hike in nature, gaining peace and a deeper appreciation for the world around them. Engaging with nature reduces stress, enhances creativity, and fosters a sense of peace. Rule 9. Discipline is freedom. Musashi's rigorous self-discipline in training and lifestyle was key to his freedom as a warrior and philosopher. In a world of endless distractions, this rule highlights the importance of self-discipline in achieving personal and professional goals. Imagine setting aside time each day for a personal project, even when distractions arise. This discipline eventually leads to the freedom of accomplishing your goal. Self-discipline leads to increased productivity, goal achievement, and a sense of personal empowerment. It creates structure in our lives, freeing us to pursue our true ambitions. Rule 10. Accept death as inevitable. Musashi accepted death as an integral part of life, which allowed him to live fearlessly and make bold decisions. This rule is about accepting the inevitable and living life to its fullest. It's about making choices without the paralyzing fear of failure or death. Consider someone who decides to start a new venture, acknowledging the risks but not deterred by the fear of failure. Accepting the inevitability of death helps us prioritize what truly matters, reduces the fear of taking risks, and encourages us to live more authentically and courageously. These rules, when woven together, form a powerful tapestry of resilience, awareness, and fulfillment. They guide us not only in mastering our external challenges, but also in conquering the internal battles we face every day. Embracing these darker aspects of wisdom is essential for true personal growth. They remind us that growth often comes from facing harsh truths, stepping out of our comfort zones, and confronting our deepest fears. This journey may not always be easy, but it is in navigating these challenges that we find our true strength and purpose. I want to share a personal experience with you. I applied Musashi's rule of embracing solitude in my life. For a week, I consciously spent time alone, away from the noise of social media and the busyness of everyday life. This practice helped me gain clarity about my goals and reignited my creativity. It was a powerful reminder that sometimes, in silence and solitude, we find the loudest answers. I encourage you, as we part ways today, to choose one of Musashi's rules to focus on for the next week or month. Whether it's embracing solitude, cultivating tactical detachment, or any other rule, Observe how it impacts your life and mindset.